Welcome back to another video. I don't know when this is going to be posted, but got a package uh, from AirTech. So we're going to go ahead and unbox some of it. So I'm pretty sure this is not all the packages. I'm pretty sure there will be a few more coming in, but so far this is what I got. So let's go ahead and unbox it. All right, first box in this box. That was in this bag box. Kind of harnesses, 3P. We got our airlines. Uh, another harness, maybe for the second compressor. Uh, small harnesses with a bunch of fittings, Teflon tape. Uh, water catch, I believe. You got some fittings. All right. Next. Harnesses, the ties. Anything of this no more. And these are my dual compressors. So I'm I'm all new to this. I'm not too sure what all this really is. Here's one compressor. That so one with a polish tank, so we got polish compressors. There. You know what they say? Pretty dope. More stuff. And then box up of them. We're going to wait for our stress to come in and then before we continue the video It's going to be another week or two for that to come in But at least now I can actually kind of start setting up my trunk setup And mess with it a little bit But yeah, so dope, they came in, I wasn't expecting it I'm just waiting for my tank, I haven't got my tank yet So I'm going to go outside and check if it's still there or not Alright, so this is my trunk uh, I've been having this wood floor for quite a while so you can always go back to some of my older videos and uh check out kind of how i did this got my speaker right here side mount my tank actually came today so i'm just kind of get, getting a, a rough idea of how i want to get set up so i'm just going to place some of the stuff here so let's go ahead and do that so the tank most likely will probably sit in the back just like that so I, this is my tank finally came in polished but yeah, this is probably how that's going to look. This is probably going to be my setup. Let me flip this around. Something like that. Just depending on how it's going to look, but yeah. This is how I really want my setup kind of to be. It's very simple. Air management probably in the back. The uh, compressor is kind of tilted forward like this I don't think I'm a I don't know I still gotta play with some of the ideas exactly what I'm gonna do but as right now you can also be like this I'll figure it out as it goes but I do want the tank mounted Too sure how far back yet, but yeah, it's looking pretty good so far. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how kind of to set it up. Uh, I'm gonna give a big shout out to Josh 
I'll leave his Instagram link here. He gave me some tips and everything, told me how to like run it. So, um, yeah, thank you a lot for his advice. I'll show you a little video of how I'm gonna uh, be setting everything up. So I took this piece, got a little mark there and a little mark right there. We're gonna go in here and try cutting this off. That way we could mount the, the tank. Got the tanker right here. Uh, I think we're gonna start off by mounting this piece, the little this little, little piece under here. Uh, we're gonna face it that way, going towards the back, because we're gonna try to hide as much as we can. So that's the first thing we are gonna be doing. All right, you can see I installed this pretty tight, uh, heading towards the back of the car, which is how I'm gonna have it running. Um, so next, we'll probably go ahead and put some Teflon tape on here and we'll get this clocked. We're going to face it towards the front because that's where the compressors or uh, the hard line or the braided line is going to connect into this guy. Eventually, I will try to see if we got, um, if I could get some chrome ones. That way it don't look so like obvious. But yeah, so far we're going to be doing this one now. All right. Now we got these tied, angled the right direction that we want it. Uh, we'll go ahead and since that's about done-ish, we'll go ahead and actually start mounting it to the wood. Uh, drill some holes and try to get this lined up. Alright, so it don't look even on here because I think I just cut that. I don't know how, but um... Yeah, so it looks kind of crooked, but I'm going to put it on the car just to make sure we're good. Uh, when I was in the car, I had a Sharpie and I marked these two. Pulled it all off. And I put the, put it back on the, to the marks. And I was able to mark these two since it's out of the car now. Uh, we're going to go put it right back in the car one more time before we drill it. And then uh, just make sure it's still like pretty much centered. And then we'll drill like a hole or we'll see what kind of hardware it came with. If it's not long enough, I'll just get my own. But yeah, this is what we got so far. All right, now we got our screws. So I went up with it instead of going down, just because they're pretty long. I could get shorter ones, but uh, it's fine. I'll just leave it up, and you plus you can't really see it anyways, so it don't bother me too much. So we got it all where we want it. We're gonna go ahead and test fit the tank one more time. And you can see it fits and like you can't see you can't see the hardware and you can see it right in the back so now I'm gonna go ahead put the washer on on all of them and I'll get these and I could get this finally bolted down and we'll move on after that all right so everything is bolted down you can see and Let's show you guys. Maybe the front of the tank. I'm just gonna have that little T right there. And then you can't see the hardware like I was saying. You've got these pointing this way because it's gonna run straight to the compressor. And we've got the T painting towards the back because that's where it's gonna be mounted. So next is probably now we are gonna mount uh, the compressors. So that would be pretty cool. Um, then we pull off the other piece of the wood and we could probably do that here. We don't have to put it in the trunk all the time because we got this piece and this piece will align it pretty pretty much pretty good um, and how we want it to look like. All right, I believe this is how I'm gonna uh, be hooking it up. Just like that. You can see. So I already did some hole punch. So I got my little hole. It's kind of hard to see. I might redo it. But um, yeah, it's almost there. It's going to be the setup though. All right, before we actually do the hole punch, because I just noticed, we got to add this filter in here. Um, because mine kind of touches it. So it's going to push it back just a little bit farther. So I got to redo the, the punches. But anyway, I'll show you real quick before we uh, redo the punches. Uh, we're gonna, I don't know 
why this is here. I don't know if it's because you can mount it on something. It's probably is uh, because you could put an adapter and you could run this somewhere else. Uh, but we're, we're going to go ahead and delete this. So we're going to get the screws off. And after that, this should just screw in just right here in this port. Uh, very easy. And then, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get that done. So let me take the screws off and just screw it in just until it gets tight. All right, just like that, it is now done. So I'm going to go ahead and put it right back in. Uh, this one might not be fine. This one should be fine. The other one might hit and move it back a little bit. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and redo the punches one last time. And then we'll be able to drill. Uh, I think some of these the hardware, or these are right here. So I might cut them off after I drill it into place. Uh, just because for sure these will probably be a little bit too long. But yeah. Alright, after you get your holes lined up, like I said, I used a, like a little center punch and I hit it. For example, you can see it, little grooves right here is where I did it. I'm using, let me see what size drill bit this is. I believe it's a 3 16 is what I'm using. Uh, but yeah, so far so good. The holes are actually lining up pretty good. <laughs> you can see. So I'm going to go ahead and drill these out. Mount it with the hardware, which is these ones. And I might cut it off at the end. We'll see when, right now when I finish. All right, so this side is bolted down. It's real tiny. It was a 5 16th on a screwdriver. I put black tape because I'm going to be wrapping it just like this. So that way you barely can see anything. Just like that. That way you barely see the black wire. And then um, now I got to do the other side. And after that, put it back in. Make sure everything's all where I wanted it to. And then um, we're finished doing a few other things with the other tank. But yep, we're getting closer and closer to the chunk setup. All right, we're working on the second one. Getting that tied down. I lost the screw, so I'm trying to find that. So once I tie this down, I'll bring the tank out. There's a few things that I want to do on the tank uh, that Josh did. I thought it was pretty cool. So yeah, we'll go ahead and finish this up and pull out the tank one more time. Another part we're working on. Um, parts are everywhere. Excuse the mess. I'm gonna take a look. See. So we got this guy, and then we got one more. So this part should be simple, is what I was told. So you got this going that way. Like I said, we're going it away so you don't see anything. And it should go into a line, into this T, into another line, into this guy. Uh, what Josh did, he actually mounted this part right here. So I'm probably going to do the exact same thing. Uh, that way when you press on it, um, it goes like, uh, I guess you release the water or something. So he mounted it like, like right here. So I might do the exact same thing as he did. I'm just trying to see how uh, we'll run these lines. But yeah. All right. So this is how it kind of works. So you got the T or the L, elbow, what do you call it? And it goes to the line. The line's not cut yet. And it's basically, this is gonna go for down somehow. Or like that that way it's not too much of a bend we'll do a slight bend and we'll make it go down and then it will go yeah it'll go down this will go like what a tire i guess could be and then i'll make a hole here for it to come out and uh connect to this thing so what this is is what i was told is just uh to release uh water out of here i uh, believe that's what they said so you just press it and or whatever and water should just come right out but yeah so far i'm gonna leave it like this for today until i get a little bit further into it because um i want to take the cold car apart but i got a show 
you know, a car meet this weekend. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hold off on doing anything like like getting further further in. I just really wanted to get everything kind of set up of how I want it with the trunk. Uh, but yeah, so we'll continue this video uh, whatever step we're gonna do next. Alright, we're back at the TL. I'm gonna continue with the air uh, suspension install. I really want to make sure my car starts because I've been um, not driving it and using a lot of the, the lights and stuff. So please start. I could go up. I'll let it run for a little bit, get everything charged up. Uh, maybe mess with the the tablet. I don't know if you guys seen this, or you guys seen it, but I don't know if I've been showing it off lately. It's dead, of course. Damn it! I don't use it anyway, so I don't really give a shit. But motherfucker is dead. Yep. But yeah, let me uh, let run. Well, I'll put this right on the window and then go to the trunk. You guys didn't know I put um, LEDs in here so they uh, they light up. I'll show you guys real quick. You can see they're turning on. It looks better at night, of course. We could change it to all these colors. This one to you. But yeah, we can go ahead and turn it off. Alright, so we're gonna probably start be finishing up the tank. If anything. Um I gotta look at the instructions, but um we wanna mount the air trap somewhere, like I'm mount it behind. If anything, I'm probably mount it behind the the tank. So let me show you guys real quick. I know everything's a mess for now. I'm getting another box made for this side. So, right here we got a little port. But yeah, let me go ahead and um, see what I'm gonna do next. All right, so right now what I'm working on is we're gonna be making a bracket for this. So we got one right here. I could probably do the same thing. Uh, put it right here. Um, it just got to go a little bit high, so we'll probably do it like, like this high. And then uh, what this is for, <clears throat> so you got a line here. So these are going to the compressors, the top ones, how I have it mounted. These bottom ones, um, I might take this out honestly and get one that already has this fitting on. So using this adapter because I kind of don't like it. So we'll go ahead and take that off. So we're going to first save that for the last. And we're gonna be mounting this uh, catch, this water catch. This is where we'll be mounting. And we're probably gonna mount it somewhere kind of high. You're not gonna see it still in the back. Uh, but that's the plan. So I'm gonna try to find like a block, uh, a bracket at my around here at my house I could use, kind of just like how I did this one. And yeah. All right. Well, back at it. We're just gonna finish this up real quick since it'll be very simple. We're in the back of the, the tank. Um, so I'm going to reroute this. Very simple. We're just going to put a quick line. Probably around here. Just like that. And then just wrap it straight to there. So this should be very easy to do. I'm going to knock this one out real quick. Alright. So uh, I'm going to hold off on that line. Just because I want to do a few things. But yeah, so this is how I have it hooked and mounted. You got the in, so you go from your tank in here, out here, and then to your manifold is how this usually works. I found this bracket. You can probably get one at Home Depot or something, but this one's I found in my work. Screwed it down, just like how I did that one. And this one's probably gonna sit like right here. I just gotta find a way to get this mounted to here uh, somehow. But yeah, we get that mounted. And then um, the line from, once I get that port, we'll go into this line. And this part will go into the floor, under, back out to the manifold is the plan. So let me try to find how to get this mounted up. And we can still continue. Alright, I found this thing in the kit. So I just use a 
10 millimeter bolts I had for like spare parts. And this is how I have it on this. It's not gonna go nowhere. So this line's gonna go down under into the manifold. And then this line will connect over here. And then it's gonna be like a little um like a like a like this thing over here. Unfortunately I don't have any one yet. So because I have this adapter and I really don't wanna use it. It looks kind of funky. So I'm gonna see if I can get this fitting with a quarter inch um, like this. Now I can connect it into here. So, and then this part will be done. Uh, I'm still trying to get the this part how I want to mount it. Cause I'm not too sure yet. Could be anywhere honestly. But uh, I'm still trying to figure out this part at least. Alright, so I changed it up a little bit. So I got the bottom connected to the check valve. So what this does is if this gets too much pressure, this releases after so much. It goes over here so you can manually check it right here. Uh, I got the water catch. So I still need to get the fitting like I said because there's nothing here yet. This is going to connect right there. Go here. I trim this down because you can see it a little bit. And this is this mock that there's no line connected to it. It's just extra hose. It's going to go down. Awesome. It died, but yeah, so it goes to the, this part goes to the check valve, and it <coughs> goes to this thing. I guess this is just like you can just press on it to release the air manually, and then you got this line that just connects to the tank. It's gonna go into the water catch down in here into the management. So it's gonna go here and then come out through like some holes. I still gotta get that waiting for my stand to come in. But yep, this is kind of how the back end is looking so far. And this is kind of like the angle you're going to be seeing it and you can't see really anything. This wire is going to go back here so you can't see that either. Alright, so this is, uh, I'm just throwing this part in on a few parts. I'm going to do this throughout the, the series. Uh, just on some stuff that I feel like you guys should know a little bit more on why we do some stuff. So we'll go ahead. So the part I'm talking about under the tank, um, it goes into like a line like this to the back, like I told you. Um, what this portion is, is the bottom of the tank where all the air will literally drain out. All the water will drain out of the, the tank. So what you want to do is um, yeah, this part is just with the pressure relief valve. Uh, with a T fitting, and then you got also uh, a little valve. Let me find it. All right, so like I said, uh, from the bottom tank, it goes to from this to a line, it'll connect to a piece like this, which is a T. So think of a line, boop, and then this T on the bottom of it will connect to a pressure relief valve and it should all include into a tank like this this kit right here I'm working for our buddies. And then there will be another line and it'll connect to uh, this piece. So this is literally the bottom of the tank is all the pieces. Um, the way I have it is just mounted, you know, in different style. You could literally have it this short if you wanted to or you could just have it real long so in order for this is how it works so you got this connected to your tank and then air is going to be in here and then it'll be connected to this and then it'll also be connected to this so the point of this guy right here why you have this t is because um, if you have too much air pressure this thing will go off and let the air out instead of blowing your tank up in the car so which is pretty cool so always have a pressure relief valve on here so this one you would probably never touch you could probably hit it if you want to this is the only thing you probably touch once in a while like every week or two uh this is just uh, like a little cap watch we take it off real quick and the reason why we have this one is to actually relieve air out of the tank uh, manually. So you hit that little thing right in there. You just 
you just hit it with like your finger or whatever and it will release air water and stuff like that that's trapped in there so this is this portion that i'm working on on the bottom of the tank and it's just these little things i hope that kind of makes it a little bit clearer uh, but yeah, so let's go over it. So it goes from this L fitting is what I use. It could be any fitting, but I use this L shape to go to the back of the tank to this T, which is connected to this uh, pressure relief valve and to uh, this, I don't know what you call this, like a, I don't know, relief tire pressure, like a bicycle tire thingy. I don't know, uh, to that. That way you can release it manually when you need to. Seven on his head.